Yo, what up guys? This is your boy Legendary here, and today, people, we're going to be getting into episode 4 of Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s. Let's hop into it. Alright guys, so this episode was uh, pretty nice. Uh, this was the Gakuto kind of introduction video. Obviously, we already know him, but more an episode focused on him and who he is as a person, and, you know, more thoroughly about just him in general. So... The beginning of the episode is very simple. It's just give the announcers just giving an introduction of who Gakuto is. Um, you know, he wakes up really early in the morning. He goes for runs. He does his paperwork at student council before classes. So he's very responsible. You know, he's on point with that stuff. Um, and then after the intro, we get back into it. And uh, apparently, okay, Yuga comes in. He talks to Gakuto, takes him by force and says, we need your help with something. So we go to the next scene and the next scene, it seems that um, Rook, Yuga, and and Roman are creating a promotional video for Rush Duels, which is pretty cool. So they're, you know, they want this to be big, so they're creating their own promotional video to go around. We even saw a little clip of it later in the episode, which actually looked pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so they're doing that and they wanted uh, Gakuto to... Uh, do the camera work and all that. Well, Akito's like, no, he's really busy. He's a student council, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Eventually, someone, I think, comes in. I might be getting the order of things a bit mixed up, but also the student council president, Gakuto, he pretty much has kind of these two kind of uh, lower-level uh, lackeys or whatever, basically, who work with him. The lackeys is not the right word, but it's the only thing that's coming to my mind. But yeah, they're, like, by his side, and he has a bunch of paperwork that he's behind on because he's been hanging out uh, with Yuga and the rest of the crew just doing rush tools and all this other stuff. So he's been very distracted lately. And he feels conflicted inside because, you know, he support, he, he's, he's a rule follower. You know, he's a council president. He's supposed to be going around, you know, making sure that people aren't breaking the rules. That's his thing, you know. And But lately he's been just so distracted. He's behind on his work and he's been enjoying rush tools. He's been enjoying the time with the crew. And he feels conflicted like... Oh man, I'm supposed to be, you know, following the rules, but yet yeah, I'm allowing these rule breakers to kind of go free and and do whatever they want, you know. So he he feels conflicted, you know. He his more he has morals and code and whatnot, which uh, you could tell Yuga and the others don't have much morals or code, um, but he does. He's he's older. He's more responsible. He's a, a bit more of an adult figure, even though he's very goofy and a little uh, a little extra. So eventually, Yuga comes back into comes back into the classroom. Or into the student council's uh, office or whatever, and he talks to Gakuto. He said he pre pretty much entices him, entices him to duel, I think. And Gakuto's like, "No, I have no interest in that right now. You know, I'm gonna go back to my work." And then Yuga kind of cuts a deal with him and says, "Okay, how about this? How about if we have one final duel, and whoever wins that duel uh, gets what they want?" So if Gakuto wins the duel, then they won't do rush duels anymore, which I highly doubt Yuga's gonna allow that to happen. But Especially since Yuga doesn't seem to be the type of person to care about morals and stuff. Like even earlier in the episode, uh, when they were showing uh, the promotional video on, on on their phone, all of a sudden it just got dramatic likes, rapidly fast. And it turns out that Yuma programmed his uh, his little his little bot or whatever his Android whatever thing that he has uh, to do multiple likes on the video over and over and over again so he got like thousands and thousands and thousands of likes in one shot so clearly yuga doesn't really have too much morals because he doesn't want to earn it genuinely he's like nope, nope, nope like you could tell like yuga is the type of person he's gonna go for his goal and if he has to break the rules to do it he'll go do it so that's very interesting we don't see that often he's like he doesn't really follow the rules yuga he just does his own thing so that's very different from other main characters in in a lot of ways uh, but anyway, back to the whole point. So yeah, Gakuto, if Gakuto loses the duel, then they get to continue doing rush duels and Gakuto gets to quit being a student council president. Uh, so then Gakuto pretty much agrees to him. His lackeys weren't too happy with that decision. But uh, so anyway, we, we, we are, they're about to start dueling, but then it gets cut off because uh, some random student comes in and says, oh, uh, we need your help with something and this and that. So Gakuto goes and he goes to help everyone in the school. Everybody's asking him for help. He's very important to the school, uh, you know, to fix stuff, you know, play sports, all that. Like they're asking him to do everything. And, you know, he just becomes kind of overwhelmed and this and that. Uh, and then by the end, school's about to be over after school. And, you know, he, he feels like he's been avoiding having this duel. So he's like, all right, he goes, he runs off to where Yuga and Rook are and and Roman and they're all waiting there so they start the duel and so this is interesting 
So apparently, I forgot what the name of the style of dueling is. Actually, let me check. So apparently his style of dueling is called Soketsu style. So that's pretty interesting. You know, he dresses up, he has his own fitted, and apparently um, he doesn't even get to draw his own, he doesn't draw his own cards, he doesn't play his own cards. He just kind of duels there while his two little lackeys or whatever kind of draw the cards and set the cards on the field for him. So that was very weird and interesting. The fact, so apparently that's part of their style. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Uh, it has to do with some cultural thing. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I thought that was really amusing and interesting. But anyway, the duel begins and so apparently Gakuto has a really good hand he has his ace monster in his hand he has the right tributes for it but instead of going for his ace right away he seems to hold back he he just sets a monster face down in two back row and that's it so that's all he does so he's holding back and then even the, the his two little lackeys kind of comment saying what are you doing you can summon your ace right now and this and that uh, but he chose he just kind of like told them kind of to be quiet in a way and, and just went on his own business Yuga goes he summons just you know, normal summons a bunch of monsters again. He attacks, does a bunch of damage on Gakuto, drops him down to like 2,000 or something like that, somewhere around there. Uh, he, he, he drops his life points by quite a bit. And then, right after that, it's Gakuto's turn, he draws. He draws a couple cards, three cards, he sets two monsters that he drew, and then all of a sudden, he's avoiding summoning his ace again. Basically, Yuga essentially he starts laughing and this and that Gakuto's like what are you are you finding this amusing he's like no I'm just having fun and he basically suggests to Gakuto that you know I want you to have fun too let's let's have fun having this duel so then what he do Gakuto does is he takes the cards off the hand of his one of his lackeys or whatever and puts it in his hand and now he's the one doing the dueling and he's gonna start having fun he tributes off his two monsters he summons his ace his ace has a unique effect where you could switch his battle position and if you do uh, your opponent cannot tribute summon level seven or higher monsters so that's really cool so he does that and then he basically kind of uh, blocks yuma from sorry blocks yuga and then he pretty much blocks yuga from uh perform summoning his ace monster sevens world magician because it's a level seven or higher that he tribute summons so he blocked him off from summoning his ace which is really smart and really cool it's a very cool effect very unique a very nice counter to yuga and then um he does this whole combo you know he draws a card uh, with the spell card, he activates shield and sword, swaps the attack and defense of all monsters on the field. So his ace has 25 attack and 25 defense, so he just stays the same. His other monster has zero attack with 2,000 defense, so that's swapped. So now he has 2,000 attack. He goes in, he attacks two of his monsters, he does a bunch of damage, takes him down all the way to 300 life points. So that was really cool. He made a very nice turnaround. And then uh, Yuga goes, he summons his sevens road witch. Uh, activates her effect to special summon to special summon seven sword magician because that's a special summon not a tribute summon so he's allowed to do that and then he you know does his whole little usual seven sword combo he goes in he attacks Gakuto and eventually he wins I kind of skipped through certain parts but that's basically the gist of it and then he lost so Gakuto has to like he basically has to quit being student council president he agrees to it um, Yuga actually says, no, it's fine. You don't have to do that. Rook, Rook was just being selfish or whatever. <laughs> so that was funny. But Gakuto's a, a man of his word, I guess. So he, he basically says, no, I will quit. So then in the very next scene, um, apparently <laughs> there was, there was a, an election to see who would replace Gakuto. But Gakuto ended up beating that person. So he still stayed as president anyway. So it's like, okay, what was the whole, it was like this big dramatic scene. And then he just ends up staying as president anyway because no one was able to replace him or whatever. And he won. So it, it was weird. It was just a weird moment. It, it was funny, but it was weird. So then Yuga said that he reprogrammed his little bot or whatever to stamp all the forms of Gakuto so that way he could, he could you know, watch over them and, you know, stuff like that and do rush tools with them more often or whatever um, while, while the robot does all the, <laughs> all the paperwork. So that's funny. That's interesting. So yeah, it kind of ends very peacefully right there, very sweet. Um, one, one thing I liked about him is he was conflicted throughout the duel. So the reason he was holding back was because he he knew that if he won the duel, that means that there would be no more rush tools. And a part of him didn't want that to happen because he was enjoying it. He was enjoying his time with them. And he was he, he, he seems to really enjoy rush duels. So he's conflicting with his like morals and with what he wants to do in his heart, basically which is do more rush duels and kind of let them do their thing. Um, so he's just conflicted with himself. So I just find that interesting in himself that he's just, he wants to be a man of responsibility like he's always been, but now he's, his heart is kind of wavering and he's starting to have more fun and kind of, you know, turning more into his, 
kiddish side and more of his rebellious side, which you know we all saw, uh, we all eventually thought he would he would get there anyway, you know. So it, it's nice. It's a very nice characterization of him. Uh, another thing that I found very interesting is I think Gakuto actually would have won this duel. Um, had he not held back, he, had he summoned his ace monster first turn, because Yuyo went first, swarmed the field, it ha had Gakuto summoned his ace monster on his first turn, which he had the tributes for, he would have summoned his ace, done that whole combo, switching it from the, switching it to defense and switching it to attack, drawing a card, and then activate shield and sword, swapping attack and defense. He would have done all that, um, which is interesting. Actually, no, it was Gakuto who went first. He set a monster, then Yuya went, swarmed, attacked, did a bunch of damage. Gakuto came so yeah but if he if he instead of setting a monster if he had summoned his ace right off the bat Yuga would not have had anything uh, to do so he would have just had to uh, like summon a bunch of monsters in defense mode uh, and then he wouldn't have been able to do too much until Seven's World Witch came but the reason why Gakuto lost was because he took so much damage in in that second turn on purpose so Yuga would not have had enough attack power to get to get rid of Gagato's life points had he not taken all that damage in the beginning, had he not chosen to take that damage. So had he summoned his ace right from the beginning, he would have had the upper hand early. Um, he, he might or might not have been able to wipe out Yuga's whole field at once, but um, but it still doesn't change the fact that if Gagato hadn't uh, been holding back and chosen not to take that damage, that he would have actually had more life points and also the, the good thing about that had he gone for his ace first turn he would have used up his whole hand because he set two back row he would have summoned two monsters tributed them off to summon his haze that's his whole hand that means on the very next turn Gakuto would have been able to draw five new cards which is huge he would have been able to do so much more and then I think on the following turn after Yuga's little comeback he still would have had, had enough life points then he would have drawn, I think, five more cards because I think he also used up his whole hand on that turn too, or almost his whole hand. I think he had one card left, but the duel would have changed dramatically had Gakuto actually gone all out from the beginning. But like I said, he was conflicted with his emotions and he kind of wanted to lose because he didn't want to take away rush duels. But, you know, eventually Yuga insisted. But the whole point is Gakuto would have won, probably would have won that duel. Obviously, we don't know what Gakuto would have drawn from those five cards and, you know, this and that. So maybe he would have bricked. We don't know that. But honestly, Gakuto would have defeated Yuga right here because Yuga didn't have anything. He didn't have any spells or traps to protect himself. He had nothing. So Seven's Road Magician did not have enough attack power to get rid of his life points if he was at full. So, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's my thought. I think Gakuto would have won this duel. He obviously lost the duel. It is what it is. You know, he held back and that cost him and that's fine. But uh, I, I think he, he would have been able to beat Yuga. He had a very good strategy. He had, His deck has a, a very unique strategy where it's kind of uh, focusing on switching things from attack to defense and swapping attack and defense points, which is... Uh, a funny little thing because I built one of my own rush decks that also kind of had that same playing style So I find it funny that now he actually kind of did a similar playing style that I did so it was pretty interesting Um, I liked it. This was a good episode a great introduction to Gakuto. We got to see his personality He's a he's a really fun guy. He I can't wait to see him just Just loosen up and just you know, just enjoy rush dueling and be a little bit more rebellious I want to see him do more. I really liked his ace monster. I thought his ace monster was really cool his ace monster's name is Fiendish Commander Yame Ruler. So yeah, he's kind of like a rule follower as well or whatever. But I don't know. I like it. I like I love no, I don't like it. I really, really like the design of that that ace monster. Uh it might be one of my favorites along with the uh, Rush Dragon Drag Ears. But then again, Yuga's no not Yuga, uh Roman's ace is all, also looks very nice as well. So I don't know, but I really liked his ace. I thought it was cool. I thought it had a cool effect where he could switch his his uh, battle position and then if he does he kinda cancels off tribute summoning for level seven or higher monsters, which comes very much in handy. So he's very strong. I, I respect Gakuto a lot. I thought he had he had a very good strategy, a very good deck, and he could have easily won the duel had he not been holding back. But anyway guys, let me know what you guys think. What did you guys think of Gakuto? What did you think of his deck? Did you what did you find interesting about the episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Why did you like it? Why did you not like it? Um would you like to see more of Gakuto? I certainly would. I thought he 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 did great. I thought he did great and his deck looks really good. There's actually strategy involved in his deck, um, which Yuga needs to up his game because his deck doesn't have too much too much strategy. 
Uh, he kind of does the same things over and over again, which people are starting to get a little frustrated with. No worries, he's the main character. He's going to have all the duels in the world. Uh, so he, his strategy will definitely improve over time. We'll see more of his cards. But this is only episode 4, so the main character as Yuga probably doesn't need to show that much right now because later on he's probably going to show more of his skills or maybe just upgrade his deck and just be more strategic but yeah anyway guys thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it god bless you guys see you guys in the next video gotcha